James Kaufman, World News Report today. SpaceX is cluttering our skies with debris. Comet Lemon versus Starlink, which you mostly see, are streaks of Starlink satellites in frames. At a satellite conference in 2020, Elon Musk was asked about Starlink interfering with astronomy. Quote, I am confident that we will not cause any impact whatsoever in astronomical discoveries. Zero, he replied. Fast forward five years, October 25th, just two nights ago, astronomer Michael Yeager, one of the famous ones, recorded this video of Comet Lumen C2025A6 over Austria. And what do you notice? Well, you notice streaks of light in all directions. These are either Starlink satellites or other satellites. The skies are filled with satellites being sent up by all of the countries that have the ability to do so. It's a complete nightmare. The first thing that you noticed? Well, on a clear night, it might have been the comet, or it might have been the dozens of crisscrossed lines we see in front of the photographs of the comet. In this series of photographs, all we see is crisscross applesauce in front of Comet Lemon. Dozens, if not more, bright streaks, mostly Starlink satellites. Since 2020, SpaceX has launched more than 9,000 Starlink satellites. Many long-exposure comet photos submitted to SpaceWeather.com now include some interference from this mega-constellation. No worries, because China's working on even a larger one, and we have other companies here in the U.S. and elsewhere also working on large internet, well, mega-constellations. SpaceX has the permits and future plans and has called for as many as 42,000 additional Starlink satellites. Amazon's Project Coupier has also begun launching its own planned 3,200-plus satellite broadband fleet, while China is building two more mega-constellations, the Goang, over 13,000 satellites, and the Quinfan, over 15,000-plus satellites. Together, they could eventually rival or surpass Starlink by far. Now for the good news. Astronomers are finding ways to avoid the clutter. For instance, shorter exposures can capture the comet between satellite flybys. And some photographers are simply throwing away all the frames that include streaks. The current satellite population is still rather small. But we're talking about tens of thousands of additional satellites in the skies very soon. Take a look. Soon you might not be able to see anything but streaks that fly by. God bless, folks. Again, this was Comet Le Mans C2025A6. This was taken by Michael Yeager over Austria. God bless. Share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro world.